Aljamain Sterling is finally moving up to 145 pounds. He is moving up to the UFC men's featherweight division. Finally, I think this is a great move for Aljamain Sterling. He has been talking about it for a long time. He even said after his last title fight, his last fight overall at UFC 292, that no matter what happened, win, lose, or draw, he would be moving up to the 145 pound division because he is a big guy. He is a really big guy. Guys, I wanna get into this today in today's video. Before I get into all that, please consider liking and subscribing if you enjoy MMA content. I have five or more videos coming at you every week and three to four live streams every week. So let's go ahead and get on into this. Aljo is finally moving up to featherweight. Now he has stated that he has walks around about 180 pounds when he is you know, in between fights, not really in camp, not really training too hard. He gets up to about 180 pounds. I mean, that's huge. That is even a good sized featherweight. That is a gigantic bantamweight. Now he's not the tallest guy in the division. I think he's 5'8". Uh, I wanna say he has a 71 inch reach. So he is a pretty big guy. Um, you know, his frame isn't huge, but he's very muscular, right? The guy is a physical specimen, really good shape, you know, pretty muscular. So yeah, I mean, 180 pounds is incredible. Now, he just did an interview where he said that he walks around at 180, but right now he is at 170, right around 170, 171 pounds. And he says, and that's a good weight for me. I'm not fat. I've got some abs going. I don't know how I ever made it to 135 and I don't know how I've made it for so long, said Aljamain Sterling. He made it, you know, out of sheer will and determination. I imagine he probably dieted it down to somewhere in the 160s, maybe like high 150s, and then made like a 25, 30 pound weight cut. That's massive. That's a huge, huge weight cut. Um, and, and you can tell, you can see it at a lot of his weigh-ins, you know, he looked really, really depleted. So I think this is a good move for Aljamain Sterling. I really do. I really do. This is a great move. And then later on in the interview, he goes on and says, I did the testing and my numbers came back that I am 26.7% over the weight class limit in comparison with all the other bantam weights. I make the weight. People could say whatever they want. This is the only way I know how to compete from wrestling to college wrestling to now MMA. It's not easy, but I always get it done. He's talking about the weight cuts. So yeah, 26.7% over the weight class limit in comparison to the other bantamweights is incredible. It's it's really incredible. When you look at another big guy in the division, Sean O'Malley, Sean O'Malley walks around at about 155, 158 pounds. So, you know, in comparison, you know, Sean O'Malley's a big guy. He's like 5'11", not the most muscular, but still a very big bantamweight. Um, you know, he's only walking around like 160 tops. Aljamain's walking around 180 pounds. So yeah, the, the guy is huge. Uh, I think featherweight, Moving up to featherweight is a great option for him. I really do. And I think this is a good move for him. But I've got to say, man, why was this not done months ago? Why was this not done months ago? You said before 292, when he fought O'Malley, when Aljamain was the champion, that he's moving up. After this fight, doesn't matter what happened, he's moving up and Marab is going to get the next title shot. So what happened? Aljamain campaigned for a rematch for a very long time after the fight. Um, and and I, I gotta defend that. You know, he did have three title defenses. He probably did deserve a rematch, but I don't like the fact that he's going back on his word. You know, he says, hey, Marab, just wait out a little bit longer, you know, and then I'm moving up to featherweight. Once I move up, you, you get in there, you get in there, you get the next title shot. Well, Aljamain Sterling didn't hold true to his word. He didn't. And now, because of this, because of the whole weird, stupid Aljamain Marab, Sean O'Malley situation where, where they can't decide who's going to get a title fight. Now Marlon Vera, Marlon Chido Vera, who I think is ranked number six or number five, somewhere around that, is getting the next title shot. And it's just super unfortunate, man. Like, you know, I'm not a big fan of Marab. I'm really not. I'm kind of impartial to the guy, but he's undoubtedly the number one contender right now. And because Aljamain Sterling played these games after UFC 292, you know, I want to get my rematch. I want to move up. I don't know what I want to do. Marab said, you know what, fine, I'll wait out, man. I'll wait out. I'll wait out for, you know, up to a year if I have to. That's what he said. He said, I'll wait up to, to a year before, it, you know, so Aljamain gets his title shot, his title re rematch. And the UFC hears that. Dana White even responded to that comment that Marab made and said, well, if that's what you want to do, you're in the wrong business. And what is that saying? That's basically the UFC saying F you to Aljamain and Marab and saying, you know what, we're just going to move on. 
it, you know, if, if you two can't decide who's going to get the title shot or, or who wants to fight for the belt, that's cool. We'll move on. And it's just so unfortunate because Marab should really be fighting for the fighting for the belt. I like Cheeto Vera. I'm a fan of Cheeto Vera. A one fight win streak versus a nine fight win streak. You know, you know what I'm saying? So I think this is a great move for Aljamain Sterling. I really do. I think 145 is going to be a lot better for him. Um, you know, he's not going to be making that crazy weight cut. Still going to have a weight cut, but you know, that's going to be a better division for his body. I just wish this had happened months ago. I wish this had happened three, four months ago, you know, and so the, the, the division had a little bit more clarity. So that's all I'm saying, guys. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of this whole situation with Aljamain, Marab, Sean O'Malley, you know, that whole title mess at 135. And guys, I will see you in the next one. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. I love you all, and I will see you later.